Hey guys, how's it going? It's Tilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining the channel. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you if you haven't subscribed to the channel to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you all more content. Today I'm really excited because I'm going to do another Magic Leap video. In this video, we're going to be focusing on hand meshing. I showed you that previously, but I wanted to do it in a different manner. I wanted to create a new scene where I'm basically spawning particles from my hands. So the way that it's gonna work if I do an open hand, we're gonna be basically generating particles and when I close it, the particle generation is gonna stop. So I always wanted to be a superhero and this is gonna give me a little taste of that. So I hope you enjoy the video. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. So let me show you what we're gonna be doing in this video, which is to create our own version of the hand meshing. So what I want to do is I want to say if I open my hand, I want to basically spawn particles. And the reason for that is because I, I really like superheroes and I'm sure a lot of you do as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically be mimicking superpowers, maybe like Iron Man superpowers. But the idea is that if we're opening our hands, we're going to be spawning particles. And some of these particles are going to be the ones that I created for the rocket demo that you probably watched previously. If you haven't watched, I recommend that you do so that you have an idea of how the particles got created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use hand machine as a basically as a starting point of what we need to do. I'm going to be basically copying some of these components because there's no reason for me to start from scratch because a lot of this is already being covered. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, not only I'm gonna be creating a new a new scene, but I'm also gonna be cloning these two. So I'm gonna copy the content and rendering. And then we're gonna go into our scenes and I'm just gonna create a new scene. So I'm just gonna right click on here and then right click and then scenes. And normally I create scenes by just saving. Okay, here's the option. So let's just call this one hand meshing superpowers and then what I'll do I'll just double click to open it up and then we'll just delete the main camera and directional light and I'm just gonna paste the content and rendering component that we copy from the other scene and then before we keep going let's go ahead and go to file build settings and I'm gonna add this as an open scene because this is gonna be the one that we're gonna be building to the magic clip device and then let me just do a couple of changes in here just so that we we have a better idea of what this is going to do. So let's go into head post canvas and instructions. I always like to change the instructions a little bit. And render modes, I, I don't know that I need that. All I really need, and then the status, all I really need is instructions because I want to show you how this works and then we don't need these other components that look like they are part of the canvas. Let's just leave them because that's a prefab. But the instructions I'm gonna change because I want you to know how to do this. And I'm going to make it bigger. There we go. And, and then this one right here, let me see where that one is coming from, which I thought I deleted, but it's still there. Okay, we'll remove it here in just a minute. Let me see if I can actually this label right here, which is a strange because it is deleted, but it doesn't show. Okay, so we can, we can just ignore that one for now. But the instructions, what I want to do, let me go back into 2D mode and cover virtual objects with your hands. So this one is just gonna be basically using, let me just make sure I don't have caps lock, using your hands to execute superpowers. Open your hand, hand wide open to spawn particles, which will start from the center of the hand. So in this case, it's going to be the hand mesh. Let me make sure that I go into that and I get, yep. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place a particle inside of the hand mesh component. So we can just say in, in the center of the hand mesh component. And by all means, I haven't done this before. So you're going to be the, you know, you're gonna be surprised as I am if everything works. If it doesn't work, it's okay. We'll we'll go through, you know, another demo. But I think it's gonna work. I think we should be okay based on what Magic Leap has provided. And then, okay, I see what. Normally, I put everything under the head post canvas, but the switching tooltip is inside of the content, so I'm just gonna remove it. Okay. And another thing that I normally do is I like to have the logo 
I, I really like the professionalism of having you know the logo, especially when we're using some of the pr some of the components that Magically provided. I think it's more than fair to to add this to their to the examples that we're creating. I think you know as a way of saying thank you for for what you're giving giving to developers. All right, so I think I think all of that looks fine, and let me go back to the instructions. Using your hands to execute superpowers, open your hand wide open to spawn particles, which will start from the center of the hand mesh. So, one thing that I that I realize is I want to maybe we have it looping. Say we have our, our hand open, and then as we have it open, it's basically looping through. But as soon as we close our hand, it's going to either stop the particles from spawning or or just killing killing the particles by just destroying them. So we can add something something like that here. Close your hand to stop the particles. For now, we can just say stop from running. I think that makes sense. And okay, so I think that's good. Then let me go into the content and see. So let me just give you an overview of some of the things that we have here. So I don't know that I need all these other objects. We can, if we want, we can leave the walls because I think it gives us a reference of, you know, we have something in front of us, but I don't really need the other objects. And I think in later videos we could say, you know, if the particles are hitting an object, we can destroy the object and say that we really want to try our superpowers. But I think for now we can just, just make sure that everything is working. And then we can also remove this one. Okay, so we have static objects around us, which are going to be, is basically the four walls. So those are quads. And then in the hand mesh, we have a hand mesh, which has a mesh block prefab, and then also the mesh material that we are going to be adding. So I think we're good there. And then on the example, let me see what we have here on the example. So the example, I don't really need to have, you know, the occlusion material. Let me just make sure that I look at that. I think, okay, so that's just the black one. Flat white, it's fine. Wireframe. I think for this example, all I'm going to do is just use the wireframe. We can refactor this class a little bit and copy it and make some changes because there's some things in here that we don't need. The open hand is the one that we're going to be using for spawning the particles, so we can leave that property on. But for sure, I'm going to I'm going to have to remove a couple of things in here. But I don't want to change this implementation because that's part of their example, so it's never a good idea to do that. What I'm going to do is instead I'm going to copy most of the stuff that we have here and then we'll just go ahead and refactor some of that code. So just I just copy it to my clipboard and then I'm going to go into our scripts and then we can just create a new script. This one is going to be hand, hand meshing superpowers. Okay, and then we can just open that up and let me, there we go. And then what I'll do, I'll just paste what I just copied from the other example. And a lot of the things here are going to go away because we don't need, we don't really need to determine what the render mode is going to be. I'm going to, I'm going to set that. So I don't need that. And we do need this behavior. And let me bring in the using a statement from the XR namespace. Okay, so I think all of that looks fine. Hand meshing, yep, we need that. The occlusion material, the only one that we really need is the wireframe. So what I'll do is let's just delete everything else and we can just say material use use for hand meshing and then we can rename that in a minute and then we don't need any timing in here. The key post to switch is going to be key post to generate superpowers. And it's not going to be okay. It's going to be open hand. I think that one works. We don't need status, switching tooltip, minimum confidence. I do want that because I want to set what the confidence level is going to be. So 80% that we think it's an open hand is, is more than enough. And then we can just remove that. We don't need to set the render mode, I don't believe, because this is only for, yeah, for determining what the, yeah, we don't need that. And just get rid of it. Okay, so I think I'm I'm happy with what we have here, and these are all we can just. I don't I don't really need those regions because the code here it's much simpler. Okay, let's just remove that, that region. If your code gets out of you know out of control, I think 
it's a good habit of putting regions, but if not, you don't really need to do it. And then here, what I'll do is I'll just check to see, make sure that the wireframe material was set and everything else here goes away. It's kind of crazy that I know what I need to do here. And the reason for that is because I've been doing this just for way too long. And I'm talking about programming in general. Okay, so I think I think we're good there. And on destroy, it's fine. So on destroy, we're gonna basically make sure we disable key poses and stop. And then on start, we'll, we'll basically enable the key poses, set the filter level, and then also the key point filter level. And a lot of these update, update we don't really need. So in fact, we don't need any of these because we're not switching render modes. And let me just make sure we're not we're not gonna need yeah we're not gonna need or actually not gonna need any of this so the code is gonna be fairly simple and instead of calling update meshing behavior we're only going to we can just set it right on start and what I'll do is so because we're doing the wireframe we can just go ahead and copy that and then get rid of this method completely and in fact we don't need this update. So it's gonna be fairly simple once we have everything. So the behavior mesh material is gonna be the wireframe material. And I'm gonna rename that because this is just gonna be the material that we, that we select by default. So I'm just gonna call it material, or we can just call it hand mesh material. I think that's more generic. And I think everything else should be fine. Okay, so I think we're good there. I think I'm missing, I am missing, uh, curly brace somewhere so that's on the destroy this one is for that and there we go I think that's good let me see what I'm missing this happens when you oh there we go I see what I'm, I'm missing here I copy another public class so let's go ahead and cut all this and we don't need a class in a class under a class because that's that's not required right now and okay, so I think I think we're good. And I'm still missing. I think I'm still missing. Oh, okay, so we don't need the region there, and we're good to go. Okay, so I think we got everything that we need. We don't need this using statements. Only those two, and we don't need these comments either. So I think we're good to go here as far as what we need. So now what we need to do is basically implement our new feature. So. What's gonna happen is, for now, because I wanna test this, I'm going to add just a cube under this component. And in fact, this is going to, if I go ahead and add this right now, let's see, okay, no, I think it's fine. So this is gonna simulate a cube. So let me go ahead and do it again. I'm just gonna right click on the hand mesh and then we can probably just add a cube. And our hands are gonna be, I mean, this is huge. We probably can do 0 0.2, 0 0.2 and 0.2. And we can go smaller on Y so we can simulate a uh, hand. And then we can probably just go 2.1. Okay, so that's gonna be it's gonna be our hand and we can yeah, there we go. I think that's gonna be our hand. The reason why I wanna do this is because if, if I want to simulate that our hand is going to be pointing at the right direction. So I want to basically spawn the particles right now, and I'm gonna be using the rotation of this object to determine what the where the particles are gonna land. So this is just a reference for me, just for sanity. And the other thing that I'm gonna do is this is gonna be the hand machine. Let's see how how do I how did I call it? I can just call it what I call the class, which is gonna be that guy, and then we can remove this component. Then the next thing that I'll do is to just add that hand machine superpowers. You can see that's much simpler. And then what I'll do is I'll add this reference to the hand mesh, which is gonna give us our behavior. And then the material that I'm gonna use is I'm just gonna use the wireframe because I really like that one. I think it looked really cool last time I selected. And then our key post to switch. This is gonna, gonna be key post to switch. We can probably just rename that because it doesn't make any sense. So we can just call that key, key post to, key post for superpowers. Okay, and then we can go back and then make sure that that took the changes that I did and it should just be here in just uh, just a few seconds and there we go it's like it's not compiling for some reason sometimes when that happens oh I think it's because I have there we go it's because I had an error 
So I was gonna say, I was gonna blame Unity. <laughs> okay, so we can. There we go. So that's that's what I had. I had the wrong reference. So it wasn't it wasn't compiling. Okay. So now that I have that done, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into one of the example scenes that I created previously. So I'm gonna save this one, and let me make sure I grab the. Okay, so it's gonna be this one, and I'm gonna add the component. I'm gonna copy the component that I created here for the rocket. And we're gonna grab just the fire. I think that fire looks cool. And in fact, I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna create a prefab of that because we're gonna use that quite a bit. I might use it for other examples. So let me create a new folder. This one is gonna be prefabs. And I just double click on that and then just drag and drop this one. There we go. Because we're gonna need it. And then let's go back into our, our superpowers one, which is this one. Double click on it. And yes, I wanna save the changes because I created a prefab. And then what I'll do is, there we go. So what I'll do here is I'm going to use the fire main, which is gonna be here. And that's gonna be basically our, our fire. And we can exaggerate it if we, if we want to. Let's keep this simple. So my goal is to be able to see these running on, the, on, the, on my hands. And then we can perfect it in later videos where we, you know, we might increment the, the size, we might increment the power of our superpowers, but for now, all I want to see is that they, you know, it's a starting and things are things are working. So let me see if I if I change mm -hmm. the simulation here. So what I'll do is I'll just enable it and disable it as, as appropriate. So if I do the gesture, we're gonna enable this component. Otherwise, we're not gonna enable it. So I'll just keep it like that, and then we can just remove this cube. I don't need it anymore. I just wanted to make sure that I was gonna be pointing correctly. And then, so um, on our hand, on our hand machine superpower, I'm gonna double click on that, and we're gonna create a new a new property here. And this one is just gonna be for the particle system that we're gonna be playing with. So it's gonna say it's a game object, and this is gonna be our particle system to use. And we can just do that, and then I'll just copy this attribute here, and we can say get object holding the particle system for superpowers. Okay, and I think that it's good. So the other thing that I'm gonna need that I don't see right here is that we're gonna be we're gonna have to check to make sure that we have the appropriate confidence. And if we go back to our other example, let me make sure that I can find it. If you if you search here for confidence, confidence, there we go. And you can see that I'm checking in. So I'm gonna do something similar to this. Let's just copy that. And then let's go back into our hand machine superpowers. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add our update method back. Perfect. And then what I'll do is we need to check for that. And let me make sure that I don't need to, that I don't need to check if something started normally. In, in other versions, you had to check to make sure that the the email hands was started. If it was started, then you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check because I wanna make sure that that it's started before we try to use hand tracking. So I'm just gonna say if email hand started, this is started, then we are going to check for, do this next check. And so what I'll do is I'll just say if, or key post, and this is gonna be, in our case, is gonna be the keep all superpowers and as long as our confidence match the minimum confidence which is going to be 80 percent so if this is true we're going to enable our particle system so it's going to be the particle Let's see how did i call it i call it particle system to use and we can say let's see we can say game object because it is a game object i shouldn't have to do that i can just say set active there we go so if it is true, meaning that we are using, we're basically opening our hand wide open and the key post confidence is more than 80%, then we're gonna set it to true. Otherwise, we're gonna set this to false because we don't want that to be spawning. And so I think this is a good start. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this on my device and then we can see if everything is looking fine. Let me, let me make sure that everything compiles right now and we also need to add our particle system to use, which is this fireman. Okay, so I think we should be good there. 
let me just double check everything and if I go back into rendering and there we go okay so I think I think we're good and to be honest every time I write code I never get it perfect the first time so I'm not really confident this is gonna work but we'll try it and if it doesn't work we can go ahead and go back and fix it so okay so I have that scene added here and then I'll just go ahead and hit build and run and then I'll connect my magic leaf device so let me hit save and then I'll show you how this looks as soon as it gets finished building and deploying to my to my ML device thank you guys all right guys so I got the experience up and running on my device and you can see that the Unity logo is now showing and I should be able to see there we go so now it's starting and it gives you some instructions on how to run it I'm opening my hand and basically using what I call superpowers to spawn particles and I'm tracking my hand so everything is working if I close my hand and I open it you see that the particle effects is starting so that's honestly everything that I wanted to show you guys thank you right guys thank you much for watching this video I really appreciate your time and if you have any questions about what I just showed you please let me know in the comments also be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have amazing resources for game developers and also find me on patreon.com where I'm posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access to source code. Thank you very much guys.